LAX where the Labor Day travel rush is on. Unlike last year, more people are taking time for that end of summer getaway. Yeah, and KCAL 9's Rick Montanez is live at LAX where the holiday hustle is still in high gear, Rick. Yeah, hey ladies, you know, many of the passengers that we've talked with today say they are actually arriving early. They're getting people to drop them off, just trying to make this whole experience much easier. We are noticing that traffic is picking up, and if you're not at the airport yet, it is only going to get busier. The unofficial end of the summer is nearly here, and lots of people are headed out of town for the three-day weekend. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be today. It's pretty easy. I mean, we had someone that dropped us off, so it was very convenient, and checking in is really great so far. So. And you guys got here pretty early, I would guess? Yeah, just in time. No rush hour right now. LAX is expecting twice the passengers this year over last year's Labor Day weekend. That's still about 20% fewer flyers than Labor Day 2019. We are back in that, that stance, that circumstance where you need to give yourselves two hours early for a domestic flight and three hours early for that international flight, even though there aren't that many of them right now. Also, make sure to pack plenty of masks. Once you're at the airport, they are required in all covered areas and, of course, on all planes. The CDC issued a warning earlier in the week for unvaccinated people to avoid holiday travel. The masks are there to protect us, so I think everyone should wear their masks. For people who haven't flown during the pandemic, there are lots of recent changes at LAX, including several major construction zones. Another hurdle that may delay passengers heading to their gates and ultimately out for their big weekend getaway. We took a half day off and then we were able to make it here like, you know, before <laughs> before the big crowd. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to plan ahead a little bit. I think that's I think that's the trick, honestly. Yeah, a little bit of planning ahead. So if you are going to park here at the airport, I just checked and there are four of the eight parking garages here near the terminals. They are already at capacity. Three of them are already just closed off. You can check on those parking conditions before you head out the door. Reporting live at LAX, Rick Montanez, KCAL 9 News. And I can tell you rideshare doesn't get any better. Oh, Thanks, no. Rick. <laughs>